Some people have a knack for making friends, others for making bodies disappear. This is Hidden Killers with Tony Broski. Today, we're peeling back the layers on one of the most disturbing scandals to ever hit the entertainment industry, one that places Sean Diddy Combs at the center of horrifying allegations. The most shocking claim? A new lawsuit filed by a woman referred to only as Jane Doe, who says that when she was just 13 years old, she was drugged and assaulted at an MTV after party hosted by Combs. According to the lawsuit, after being lured to the party by a limo driver, she accepted a drink and within minutes felt dizzy and disoriented. She sought out a quiet room to rest, only to be followed by Combs, accompanied by a male and a female celebrity. What happened next is the stuff of nightmares. Doe says she was raped first by the unnamed male celebrity as Combs and the female celebrity stood by watching. And then... Combs himself allegedly assaulted her. When she resisted his attempts to force oral sex, he finally stopped. The story is just one of many disturbing accounts surfacing, each allegation drawing us deeper into a web of manipulation, control, and abuse spanning decades. The question now is, how could this have stayed hidden for so long? And what happens next as the walls begin to close in on Combs? We're going to dig into it all because this is a story that demands answers. Seven new lawsuits have been filed against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs, adding to a growing number of accusations involving sexual misconduct, abuse, and drugging spanning two decades. Among the most serious new allegations is a claim from a woman identified as Jane Doe, who says she was only 13 years old when Combs and an unnamed male celebrity raped her at an MTV Video Music Awards after-party in 2000, with a female celebrity present as a witness. According to the lawsuit, Jane Doe says she attended the after-party, lured by a limousine driver working for Combs, who allegedly told her she fit the type of girl Combs liked. Upon arriving at the event, Doe was asked to sign a non-disclosure agreement. Shortly after accepting a drink, she began to feel dizzy and disoriented, the complaint states, prompting her to seek out a room to rest. In her account, Combs, joined by a male and a female celebrity whose names remain undisclosed, entered the room where she was resting. The male celebrity allegedly stripped her and raped her while Combs and the female celebrity looked on. The lawsuit states that after the male celebrity finished, Combs then assaulted her himself, all while the other two remained in the room watching. When Combs attempted to force Doe to perform oral sex, she resisted by striking him on the neck, after which the assault stopped. The plaintiff managed to escape, found a nearby gas station, and called her father to take her home. She claims that the trauma from the incident has affected her life for more than two decades, resulting in severe depression. The case involving Jane Doe is part of a broader series of civil lawsuits filed by five women and two men, accusing Combs of sexual assault, drugging, false imprisonment, and harassment. These allegations describe a pattern of predatory behavior at events hosted by Combs across multiple cities, including New York, Los Angeles, and Las Vegas between 2000 and 2022. In one of the new cases, a 17-year-old male artist alleges that Combs drugged and assaulted him at a party in 2022 after offering promises of career success. Another accuser, a personal trainer, claims he was drugged and forced into non-consensual sexual acts at an award show after party. The lawsuit suggests that drugs like GHB were frequently used to incapacitate victims. The civil lawsuits come as Combs also faces serious federal criminal charges, including racketeering, sex trafficking, and transportation to engage in prostitution. Prosecutors accuse Combs of orchestrating a criminal enterprise through his business empire, using his influence to lure victims with promises of fame, only to subject them to abuse. Combs was arrested on these charges in September 2024 and has since been denied bail twice. He remains in custody at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn with his trial scheduled to begin in May 2025. Legal experts expect additional charges may be filed as the investigation progresses, Combs' legal team has denied all allegations, calling them attempts to garner publicity and insisting that their client has never assaulted anyone. 
His attorneys recently filed a motion requesting the judge to prohibit witnesses and their legal teams from making public statements, arguing that the intense media coverage could interfere with his right to a fair trial. The defense has also requested that prosecutors reveal the identities of the accusers, claiming that the lack of transparency is impeding their ability to prepare a defense. So far, Combs has pleaded not guilty to all charges. Attorney Tony Busby, representing multiple plaintiffs, has indicated that more victims may come forward in the coming weeks. Busby's team has announced that they are working with as many as 120 potential victims who allege abuse by Combs, suggesting that this legal battle could grow even larger. The lawsuits and criminal charges against Combs raise significant questions about the entertainment industry's role in enabling and concealing misconduct. Many of the events where the alleged abuse occurred were attended by other high-profile figures, yet little has been said publicly by industry insiders. With the trial date approaching and more lawsuits expected, the fallout from these allegations is far from over. As Combs prepares for his defense, the public is left grappling with the troubling details now emerging from years of secrecy and silence. The allegations against the music mogul have transformed his legacy, leaving both his career and personal reputation hanging in the balance. Jane Doe's lawsuit is just one of several new claims filed against Combs, with other plaintiffs describing eerily similar patterns of manipulation, drugging, and assault. Five additional lawsuits filed by both men and women detail incidents that occurred at parties hosted by Combs between 2000 and 2022 in locations including New York, Los Angeles, and Las Vegas. One accuser, a 17-year-old male identified as John Doe, alleges that in 2022, Combs offered him a drink and assured him that he could make him a star. After consuming the beverage, the plaintiff claims he became disoriented and was sexually assaulted by Combs at a party in Los Angeles. Another lawsuit from a female independent music producer alleges that she was assaulted at a party held by Combs in New York City after being given a drink that left her incapacitated. A personal trainer described in his lawsuit how Combs invited him to an award show after party where he was drugged and forced into non-consensual sexual acts. The lawsuit details how the trainer later found himself outside without his phone or shirt, struggling to recall what had happened. These cases suggest a disturbing trend of alcohol and drugs being used to render victims vulnerable at events organized or attended by combs. Sex trafficking and racketeering charges add new dimension. While the civil lawsuits focus on individual cases of sexual assault, federal prosecutors have leveled additional criminal charges against Combs, accusing him of operating a criminal enterprise. The charges include sex trafficking, racketeering, and transportation to engage in prostitution. Prosecutors allege that Combs used his entertainment empire and high-profile gatherings to recruit young individuals under false pretenses, promising them career opportunities while subjecting them to abuse and exploitation. The criminal indictment suggests that Combs and his associates frequently targeted individuals vulnerable to manipulation, often using non-disclosure agreements to enforce secrecy. Prosecutors further allege that party guests were unknowingly drugged with substances like GHB, leaving them incapacitated and at the mercy of Combs and his inner circle, Defense team seeks gag order amid mounting pressure. Combs' legal team has denied all allegations describing the lawsuits as opportunistic and designed to generate publicity. In response to the increasing media attention, his attorneys have filed a motion requesting a gag order to prevent potential witnesses and their legal teams from making public statements that could affect the outcome of the trial. The defense argues that Combs' ability to receive a fair trial could be compromised by the widespread coverage of these claims. Combs' attorneys have also requested that prosecutors release the names of all accusers to prepare an adequate defense. However, the accusers' identities remain protected under court confidentiality agreements, with the plaintiffs listed as either Jane Doe or John Doe. More plaintiffs expected to come forward. Attorney Tony Busby, representing multiple plaintiffs has stated that as many as 120 potential victims have contacted his firm. 
Busby's legal strategy appears focused on exposing a long-standing pattern of abuse with allegations stretching from the early 2000s through to the present. Each new lawsuit further complicates Combs' legal troubles, with mounting evidence suggesting a consistent pattern of drug-fueled assaults and coercion at his events. The public response to these allegations has been swift, with many questioning how such behavior could go unchecked for so long within the entertainment industry. The growing number of lawsuits has already begun to erode Combs' reputation, and more accusers are expected to come forward in the coming weeks. Combs remains in custody at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn after being denied bail twice. His trial on federal charges, scheduled to begin in May 2025, could lead to life imprisonment if he is convicted of the most serious offenses, including racketeering and sex trafficking. Legal experts predict that additional charges may still be added as the ongoing investigation reveals more details. With both civil lawsuits and a criminal trial on the horizon, Combs now faces a pivotal moment. The allegations have not only shattered his public image, but have also exposed troubling questions about accountability in the music industry. As more victims come forward, the full extent of the scandal surrounding Sean Diddy Combs may be far greater than initially understood. These latest lawsuits and criminal charges present a bleak outlook for the once celebrated music mogul with legal battles unfolding on multiple fronts. As the trial date approaches, more revelations are expected to emerge, raising the stakes even higher for Combs and those connected to him. The new lawsuits against Sean Diddy Combs have cast a dark shadow over his legacy and raised profound questions about the unchecked power within the entertainment industry. With multiple civil suits detailing disturbing patterns of abuse, coercion, and drugging, combined with federal criminal charges for sex trafficking and racketeering, the former music mogul faces the most severe challenge of his career. The cases against Combs reflect a growing movement of accountability as more victims feel emboldened to come forward, supported by a legal system increasingly willing to confront influential figures. Attorney Tony Busby's representation of numerous accusers suggests that these lawsuits are just the beginning of a prolonged legal battle that may continue to unravel over the coming months. Each new plaintiff's story further complicates Combs' defense, and the growing media attention places pressure not only on Combs, but also on the entertainment industry as a whole. As Combs awaits trial at the Metropolitan Detention Center, the looming possibility of a life sentence and additional charges threatens to dismantle his once-celebrated empire. The court proceedings scheduled to begin in May 2025 are expected to bring even more revelations to light with the potential to implicate other individuals from the industry. The scandal surrounding Combs serves as a stark reminder that fame and wealth cannot shield individuals from justice indefinitely. With public scrutiny intensifying, the entertainment industry may face renewed calls for reform to prevent such abuses of power from continuing unchecked. Whether or not Combs is found guilty, the allegations alone have already reshaped his legacy, and his trial may mark a turning point not only for his career, but also for the broader industry. The question remains, how deep do these allegations run and how many more victims may step forward before the full truth is revealed? As the legal battles unfold, all eyes will be on what comes next, for the victims, for Combs, and for an industry forced to reckon with the darkness it long ignored. In a world where the darkest secrets lie just beneath the surface. Well, they said it was an accident, but the evidence says otherwise. Where hidden killers roam unnoticed in the shadows. Well, I think you would definitely be looking at a, a blend of toxic, very bad narcissistic personality traits, and they will be vengeful and possibly resort to violence. Join Tony Bruschi as he uncovers the truth behind the most chilling cases. They said it was an accident, but the evidence clearly says otherwise. Each episode, we dig deep into the minds of those who commit the unthinkable. To your point of narcissism, he thinks in his own mind how witty he is, yeah. but he lost that jury. I, I was I was done with him in two minutes. From unsolved mysteries to infamous crimes. Geez, you've just talked about how you've taught yourself how to do everything under the sun. I bet you did a YouTube video, how to best kill somebody with a knife. Hidden Killers with Tony Bruschi takes you where few dare to go. How does someone with such a dark secret go unnoticed? 
for so long. With multiple new episodes every single day. We're not just telling stories, we're seeking justice. Listen now on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. Just search for Hidden Killers with Tony Bruschi. 